yesterday at the trot up, there was this moment of alarm because when All Star B was presented, there was no Ros Canto. And we all thought, Oek, what's gone on here? But the horse was presented, but it was her uh, Fario who actually did it, But because Ros Canto's not the biggest, and All Star B has got sort of um, big and bold, and it's quite a handful to maintain in the trot up. So she um, stood down and let someone else do the uh, showing at the trot up and all star be it but it was had a sensational year last year i always let other people trot my horse up because i'm lame well you are also a little bit older <laughs> than ross canton <laughs> she's 32. yeah but you know and and some horses know people really well and she is quite little on it isn't yeah, she she is tiny but they've had an amazing few months and with their performance at the European Championship, individual fifth and team gold. She's just five foot two, and this horse is 17 hands. So you've, um, you've got the little and large show here, but it's an extremely potent combination, and they clearly can go well here. And we would ex be expecting, well, a sub 30 score. And at Stragom in the European Championships, they scored 25.7. Balanced, straight, collected, the left hind slightly to the left on the centre line. I have to say, I thought she had such a nice control canter coming into that. I, it's the only one we've seen all day on that centre line. Just collected and collected a bit more, and then she had total control of that. It's quite positive. And rewarded with the 8, 7.5, 7.5. Good quick half halts. She lightened and let go on the contact. She's not just sitting there pulling. This is forward, Peter. It is. They were fifth last year. So you're going to mark it down, Peter, because it's just opening its mouth a little bit? I think the judge on the side is, is well within her rights to if she feels that the horse has not got enough self carriage. It swung the quarters out for the judge at sea into the shoulder in. Yeah, and it almost gave too much angle, didn't she? Yes, well, because the quarters fell out. Yeah. Good push off from behind, isn't it, when she started in the extended trot. Positively forwards. Did you get, did she get, keep you happy there or not quite? Yeah, um, I, I'm watched on the screen. Um, I thought she was. I think not word bad. has gone round. There it's um, a little bit heavy, Peter. Pulling a bit more yeah, in that right half pass and gone a little bit dead on the contact. But it's active, it's forward, that's better into the shoulder, and then it had one wobble after. Yes. A good tip for that is to ride your kneecap at the judge. Sorry. That's a good idea. That is, uh, yes, right, yes. well, we'll do this tomorrow. It's far too late in the day and you're both asleep. But if <laughs> you were so. to drop a uh, rope from her kneecap to the floor in the shoulder in, you will find that the stone on the bottom would be completely between the horse's two hind legs. In movement, in shoulder in, your outside kneecap of the shoulder in drops a line to the floor between the horse's two hind legs. I promise you that's right. OK. Good Meanwhile, she's in good walks. Yeah, the walks have been clear rhythm. 7.5, so fairly good to good for the extended walk. So the medium was of similar quality. And let's hope she can take up, take this rein back. Good halt. One, two, three, four, five. Well, nice clear steps. Nice good move Good strike off. All sevens. <coughs> Why not the eight? eight? No, that's it. The halts are all... Uh, oh, 8.5, 8 and 6.5. And one 6.5. What was wrong with that halt? Let's give it a 6.5. Who's at H? No, that was at... The 6.5 was at B. Who's at B? Uh, the... The lawyer. one... The lawyer. <laughs> the lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> nice springy balance flying change from, from my view. The only thing I can say is that perhaps it's the is contact it? that's bugging the uh, judge at B. Uh, we've had a nine for the flying change, an eight. <laughs> judge at C quarters leading. 
I do love the way you're finding your words around for the judge at B. You are so concerned that <laughs> no. you need to find out which law firm you might no. be hearing from. <laughs> I've just been very tactful. <laughs> oh. I, you know, I've been trying to discover how to be tactful <laughs> all well, of been, my life. I know, we, we know that, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you, and sadly... Like, good change. Yeah, very good change, very uphill. You could really see that was a nice flying change in the correct sense of the word, rather than the flying as in the leap. You've got many French men. <laughs> yes, <laughs> just, believe it or not, I have. <laughs> good extended they're canter. Ve they're very to tolerant. They are very tolerant. <laughs> My, my daughter loved the entry into badminton when she first heard the radio. The first words she heard, Rupert, were yours telling me to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> You're her hero. Thank you. And the name of your daughter is, do I give her a name? Pippa Hutton. Hello, Pippa. Thank she, you. She'll be doing the music tomorrow. She rode in here today with her mother and her brother. A 7.5, an 8, and a 6. How the... close to the leaders is this going, if only B would cheer well, up a bit? Well, B's not being very generous, unfortunately. And, and that's uh, the mouth, but yeah. the impulsion and the rhythm, the uphillness, the quality of the changes, the contact. You'd always say that I don't fuss about the contact enough. Well, that was a shame very about Very crooked halt. Yeah, very crooked halt. Shame about that halt. So is that going about 12? Or oh, higher. It's had some good marks. So 6.5, 7.5, and 7.5 for the halt. And that will be because the judge at C who gave the 6.5 will have really seen clearly the crookedness in the halt. I have to say, I thought, you know, it's very capable. Uh, she rode very positively, set everything up quite well. The only thing is, you could say, it's a contact. Um, that probably kept the judge at B a little bit on the mean side. Well, we won't know the answer to that because we can't read the test sheets and as the rider has got two eights and a nine, so 77 from Christoph Hess, that's going to put that one in the wow. lead. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and 73, she's ranked oh, first. Well done, fantastic. Yes. Now I'm thrilled with that. Whoa, really good. Roz, huge congratulations on your overnight lead with All Star Beat. Thank Tell you. us how that test felt for you. Well, I think the whole way through, I was just trying to ride every movement. Um, Ian Woodhead, who trains me, I had his words in in my head the whole time, so I had no idea how well it had gone. I was just trying to nail every movement, and I got to the end, and um, yeah, it was great, I think. I'd love to watch it back. So, so what words were reverberating around your head as you were going round? Oh, just all the different things, I have how I have to prepare each movement, mm -hmm. and wh where I should sit, and where his frame should be all the time, and unfortunately for me, All Star B is very tolerant and just <laughs> accepts and does, so um, that's why he, he, you know, we've got into the position we're in today, really. And how important has your training been? Because presumably you haven't been able to go out and compete a whole lot this season because of the weather conditions. So how influential has your training been on getting that mark today? Oh yeah, I mean, I suppose constantly it's the training and I'm fortunate with All Star B that he is quite professional when it comes to dressage and he, he doesn't find it that exciting. So I'm quite lucky in that he hasn't needed the prep runs necessarily to get his brain in the right place for the dressage. It might be different when we get there on Saturday, but um, so yeah, I mean, the training's always, always important. Ian Woodhead has helped me for years and he knows the horse inside out and, you know, he's he's always there for me. He's, he's always fighting my corner and, and I can't thank him enough for that. And we've got day, of the, day two of the dressage coming up next. Will you be watching your fellow competitors, seeing if your score will be beaten or will you be out focusing on the cross country? Um, no, I'll be focusing on the cross country. I had planned to walk some more of the course tonight and I don't think that's going to happen now. <laughs> so I think I'm going to be doing quite a lot of walking. I've got a course walk to do with some sponsors and obviously I'll give also I'll be a little bit of a jump and stuff. So I think um, actually I'll be quite busy. I don't think I'll get much chance to watch tomorrow. No. Oh, well, best of luck over the cross country. We'll be cheering you on. Thank you very much. Thank you.
It's been a thrilling first of two days of dressage here at the Mitsubishi Motors Badminton Horse Trials, particularly with the abolishment of the multiplier rule. So traditionally, penalty scores after the dressage for every combination would be multiplied by 1.5%, but that rule has now been abolished, meaning there's much lower scores as well as a much closer field. We have a British overnight leader in Ros Canter and All-Star B after day one of the dressage.